There are so many problems with the Park Service directed response that PETA sent out that I've got to break each line down. Let's start with the excuse that bringing in water troughs would pose a drowning threat to small animals. What this made me realize is that the Park Service does not include deaths to native animals caused by ranching activity in their environmental impact statements. How is that not part of ranching impact? For example, how many animals drown in the ranching water troughs that are spread all across Point Reyes National Seashore? How many birds are killed by the cats owned by the ranchers in Point Reyes National Seashore? How many elk and other animals die from tripping on barbed wire fences or from being entangled in these fences? How many animals are chopped up in the blades during every year's silage mowing? We know it happens. It's documented in third-party studies. I've seen it with my own eyes, but shouldn't the Park Service, if they're conducting an accurate EIS, be counting exactly how many animals die during this annual activity? Now, it hardly matters what the result would be because the Park Service sides with the ranchers no matter what the environmental impact shows. But to be a thorough environmental impact statement, should these deaths to native animals not be included? How can these factors be ignored when the Park Service thinks they're so significant that they told PETA to tell the public that's why they can't bring in water troughs for the elk because of the threat to animals that might drown. And yet ranchers are allowed to have water troughs on their land without any sort of study into the impact those have on native animals. Some of you don't care. Some of you share the Park Service's standpoint that the ranchers get to stay no matter what their impact is on the native wildlife. But regardless of your stance on it, if you're going to pretend to be conducting accurate environmental impact statements, shouldn't these things be included, even if you're going to ignore them? And if you're like the rest of us and you are tired of the Park Service ignoring the damage caused by the ranchers and siding with the ranchers no matter what and getting away with lying to the public without any consequences, what can you do? Well, for now, you can sign this petition. You can let the Park Service know how unpopular they are and that you aren't blind to the lies they are telling. Public servants should not be able to lie to the public and get away with it.